Um, let's talk about San Francisco as an influence first. San Francisco as um, an influence on me. San Francisco as an influence on you, yeah. It seems like it's, it was almost magical that at some point during the mid-60s, San Francisco suddenly came alive with music. I mean, it was, it was you guys. It was Quicksilver Messenger Service, Santana, Big Brother and the Holding Company, the airplane. You just were sort of all there playing and recording. How did this happen? It's all a mystery to me. I mean, so, somehow the word got out that there was a lot of music in San Francisco, and that brought, that brought more music in. And it was a, a great boiling pot of, uh, of musical activity. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff emerged from there, and s some of it is still rolling. Were um, were most of the musicians from the bands that I just named and, and other San Francisco bands that you're certainly aware of, were they were they native Californians? Did they just sort of migrate to San Francisco, or the ones the ones that we first initially got involved with, Quicksilver Messenger Service, Jefferson Starship, Big Brother or Jefferson Airplane at that mm -hmm. time, and Big Brother, were all local kids. Uh, a lot of other people came into that area as time went on, and then it sort of became a breeding ground for bands, and still is. A lot of, a lot of big groups have come from San Francisco over, over the last decade and a half. Is there, um, do you think, Bobby, there is a, a San Francisco sound? I mean, is there, is there a definite San Francisco sound? Not to my ears. I yeah. mean, there, at, what time, at one time there kind of was, maybe. But we were too close to it. We couldn't identify it because we all sounded real different to each other. Yeah. But I guess to outsiders, we might have sounded like San Francisco bands. Yeah. Did you, guys, um, did you guys play a lot with other bands? I mean, if you were in the dead, would you jam with other bands? And was there all a lot the of interaction? It was, uh, there was lots of jamming going on all the time. Mm -hmm. And do you think that helped to develop the music, I mean, with, with each of the individual bands? I suppose. I mean, we all we all cop licks from each other and stuff like yeah. that. Um, with the with there's sort of a new there's sort of a new resurgence of of San Francisco bands with the Tubes and Journey and and Greg Kinn and and Night Ranger. Um, do you think that they are a direct reflection on the bands of the '60s and the '70s, or do you think it's a whole new a whole new situation now? No, it's been an ongoing process, I think. These, these bands have been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, in one form or another, a lot of them are remnants of, uh, of bands that started way back then and are just now making it. Mm -hmm. God knows the Toots have been around a long time. Um, Journey's been around a long time. And, and Greg Kinn and, and uh, Night Ranger, they're you know, part of the, the San Francisco music culture that's just been churning away for years. How important do you think what was happening politically in San Francisco in the 60s was on the music and, and the musicians? It wasn't a very big influence on me. Mm -hmm. I, uh, me and most of, m most of my friends are all apolitical, right. essentially. So then you think there was very little? I don't think it had much to do with it. it was, there are a lot of schools around there, so there were, there's bound to be a lot of political activity around schools. There's also bound to be a lot of music, a lot of clubs. Hey, that's all my San Francisco questions. John, do you have any more? No, I, I think it's fine. Other than, do you, Bobby, do you think it's worth talking about? The, you talked about the early bands. You talked about the later bands. I know we've got Yui, who's, who's pretty Yeah. Important. Okay, yeah. yeah. But do you think that the, the, really where, where the journey fits in is the same place that the Doobie Brothers do that, the sort of middle, mid-70s emergence? Do you think there's any significance of that, or that's just the ongoing process? Who, who do you think? Well, the Doobie Brothers came after right. the dead. Okay, yeah. Um, I could, Journey I could. really came after the dead. They were sort of a split right. okay. of Santana. Um, do you think there was any significance? That was sort of the middle okay. ground. Okay, but you need to talk to me when you right. answer the question. <laughs> okay, after after the Grateful Dead and uh, Starship or the this Jefferson Airplane at the at that time, and uh, Quicksilver Messenger Service. Then in the years to come came g groups like uh, Santana. And, uh, and then the Tubes and Journey came into the picture. And, and uh, then Huey, who was, actually, who was actually involved in a much older band called Clover, but now Huey Lewis and the News are a uh, more recent San Francisco band. And so, as you can see, San Francisco m music has been, has been uh, churning, you know, churning right along mm -hmm. endlessly. Okay. What about influences on Bali? 
What about, but what about San, is San Francisco as, as an area had any influence on Bobby and the Midnights? No, not really. Bobby and the Midnights are by and large put together of uh, LA studio musicians. <laughs> Your slick friends? So yeah, my whole, slick it's a, friends. It's a totally different sort of sound yeah. and feeling to the music. Yeah. Okay. Were there, was there anything that preceded rock and roll in San Francisco that had any influence on you or, to the best of your knowledge, on San Francisco, on the San Francisco music scene? Well, the radio was always real good in San Francisco in the early 60s. When I was a kid growing up, I can remember there was just a lot of different kinds of stuff you could hear on the radio. We had good R&B stations, good country stations, good rock and roll stations, and uh, you could go crazy punching the buttons on your radio and, and listening to different kinds of music. And I don't know if that happened everywhere, but it surely happened in San Francisco, and that was a big influence on me. Um, by the time I was old enough to go out and start seeing music, I was already in a band and playing and didn't have a lot of time to go out and see it. How but big is the club scene in San Francisco, is it? There, there are a lot of them. The, mm -hmm. the club scene in San Francisco is pretty big. Okay. Can I cut? Okay. Cut. 